On August 14, 2023, the Norwegian Defense and Aerospace Company, Kongsberg Defense and Aerospace, Kongsberg, secured a major contract with the International Fund for Ukraine for the delivery of Advanced Unmanned Aerial Countermeasure Systems CUAS, to the Ukrainian Armed Forces. The systems, valued at 65 million euros, are designed to counter a wide range of drone threats and will be a crucial addition to Ukraine's defense capabilities. The Norwegian company, Kongsberg Defense and Aerospace, Kongsberg, signed a contract with the International Fund for Ukraine to provide Advanced Unmanned Aerial Countermeasure Systems CUAS, to the Ukrainian Armed Forces. Such systems capable of neutralizing drones are of paramount importance in Ukraine today. With the proliferation of small drones capable of causing significant damage, the development of countermeasures is undoubtedly the next challenge for the armed forces present in Ukraine. The CUAS Cortex Typhon, developed in collaboration with Teledyne Fleur, offers a solution to mitigate aerial threats, including the ability to physically disable drones. The package includes technology such as the Kongsberg Remote Weapon Station, RWS, and the Cortex Integrated Combat Solution, ICS, as well as surveillance systems. Eirik Lai, president of Kongsberg Defense and Aerospace, emphasized the importance of the contract, highlighting that it will enable the Ukrainian armed forces to protect their population and defend the country against aerial threats. The contract also includes contributions from the Norwegian government, including the donation of Dingo 2 vehicles, Kongsberg RWS, and associated armaments. The International Fund for Ukraine IFU, established by the United Kingdom and various international partners, aims to swiftly identify and acquire critical defense capabilities for Ukraine. The fund is managed by the British Ministry of Defense as the representative of an executive committee composed of the United Kingdom, Norway, the Netherlands, Denmark, and Sweden. In addition to these partners, Iceland and Lithuania have also contributed to the fund, reaching a cumulative amount exceeding 890 million euros to date. The assistance provided by the fund can be diverse and varied. 